Hello, my name is Chris Washburn and I play the trombone. And today I'm really happy that I'm going to be speaking to you about warming up and cooling down. I play lots of different types of musical styles, jazz, hip hop, rock, classical, and each one of those when I play trombone, it's a hard physical exercise. It's almost like being a professional athlete in some ways, even though we are playing music, which is an art form. And so it's important, especially if you have to play a concert and have to play for many hours, that you warm up properly, just like you would do stretching before you would do a, some type of sports event. So the way that we do this is the muscles that we use are not our legs necessarily. Um, you might use them a little bit, but when you play trombone, the majority of muscles are your stomach muscles and also your lips. Now the thing is, the facial muscles are really delicate and they get tired fast, so you have to treat them delicately and to get them strong over time and warming up is a really important part of that process. So one of the things that you can do is you, that you start playing the trombone slowly by first taking the mouthpiece out and buzzing. So this is just buzzing into the mouthpiece like you would when you're playing but without the horn. And it kind of sounds kind of funny but like this. <laughs> up and down and try to get the buzz to go up and down. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to try to move the mouthpiece all around my mouth to get the blood flowing to the muscles. Like this, you keep the buzz going as you move the mouthpiece from side to side. It never stops and afterwards you'll start to feel a little bit of tingling in your lips, and that's good. That's the blood coming into them. Now, some people like to actually put the mouthpiece in the trombone, but take the slide out and see if you can also play a little bit this way. This sounds funny, too. If you sound like a hungry cow, you're doing it right. Then, we put the slide in, and now it's time to slowly begin playing after you've buzzed your lips. The thing to do is to start down on the easiest notes of the horn. For some people, that's a low B flat, and just play nice long tones. Then go down a half step. go all the way down to seven position. The next part of the warm-up is to start building up a little bit and getting to the higher notes. Always taking little breaks between each of these exercises to let your lips rest. So we can start by doing lip slurs next. That's not tonguing except on the first note and kind of sliding between two notes in the same position. Here's an easy one from F to B flat. Down a half step. And you can go all the way down to seventh position. Then you want to go build a little higher. Go up to B flat, F, and then B flat. all the way down to seven position. You want to keep building this up to the point where you're comfortable. You don't want to play too high, but if you can play higher than that comfortably, then do it. Going up to the D. You 
You can even go up higher to the F. Now that you've got your lip slurs done, also you want to warm up your tongue because your tongue is another muscle that needs to be warmed up. You can do this again by starting down low and just playing one note at a time but tonguing like this. What I did was I played it slow. Then I played it twice as fast. You can think of the first one as quarter notes, then the next one's as eighth notes, and the next one as triplets, and the next one as sixteenth notes. I'll do it again in second position. down to seventh position. By now you should be feeling nice and strong and loose in your lips and you're ready to start making some music. <laughs>